Vertical video uses content which is in a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. Some common examples of uh, vertical videos are Instagram Stories, IGTV and Snapchat. In this video, we are going to create a preset inside HitFilm for vertical videos. We'll create a project setting preset as well as the export setting preset for HitFilm. So here I am inside HitFilm Express and I have these two clips. I want to turn these into vertical aspect ratio. So if I just simply drag it in for now, you can see that this is uh, a vertical orientation which is 16 by 9 so in order to turn it into a vertical video what we have to do is we'll just go to the settings you can also do it over here file new and create a new project but i'm going to go to settings over here and i'm going to change the width and height so we need to just you know swap these values we're going to set the width to 1080 and height to 1920 so the first thing we'll do is we'll unlink this and we'll set the width to 1080 and height to 1920 and now we can save this so you can see that the template is set to custom we can click on save and we can call it whatever you want and click on ok and uh, we can choose the frame rate over here click on ok so here you have the vertical aspect ratio so we can just simply drag in our footage and uh, click on no now you can see the footage over here it's not properly cropped so what we will do is right click on the clip and go to transform and click on fit to frame height. Now your video will be cropped inside this resolution. Now what you can do is you can play your video and see if everything is in the center. So for example over here it's not quite in the center. So you can create like simply create a position keyframe and move forward in time and just you know bring this guy back in the center over here. And you can just go forward and see if everything is fine. Maybe you can bring him back in the center and maybe over here as well. So you can see the your video is right inside this aspect ratio and I can simply export this animation. Now we can even uh, use a video with a landscape orientation uh, while preserving the same aspect ratio. So let me just drag this clip over. I'm just going to simply change the rotation and set this to 90. You can see now your video is rotated to 90 degrees and your entire video is inside this aspect ratio so now you can either go with the first one or the second one it's completely your choice the final thing that i want to show you which is a bonus tip i'm going to show you how you can create that little bar at the bottom that many influencers use in their videos so we can simply create a new plane layer and um, we can just call it whatever we want let's call it bar and uh, let's click on ok let's bring that in like that and we need to stretch it out so that it matches the length of the video and uh, i'm just simply going to move it down somewhere over here so there is our bar over there and we can simply change the anchor point i'm going to set the anchor point to negative 540 and bring the position back in the center so i'm going to type in the same value negative 540 so all we did was change the anchor point and move it to the left and now we can simply animate the scale keyframe so we can create go to the very first frame create a keyframe on scale unlink it and we can set the scale to zero at the beginning and at the end we can just make sure we are at the end which is this frame and set it to 100 so now if you play this we'll have that loading bar animation inside your footage and you can do the same thing with this clip over here just stretch it out and you can view the keyframes by going into the display timeline and just make sure that it is right at the end which is on this frame so you can just simply drag it out like so and you will have the same loading animation on your other video so this is how you can use hit film to create your vertical videos now i'm going to show you how you can create a export setting preset let's click on export and exp let's add it to a queue right on the presets page you can see you have all these different presets we need to create a custom preset so we'll click on new preset icon i'm going to select mp4 and i'm going to call this vertical video now what we want to do is on the dimensions we're going to uncheck it and uh, simply swap these two values so this one will be 1080 
and the other one will be 1920. All right, and then you can click on OK. So now you will see your preset over here. Under user presets, you will have vertical video. So every time you go to the queue and you want to change your preset type, you can simply select that footage. And from this list, you can select your vertical video. If you want to set this to a default preset, then you can simply change it over here at the top. You can see default preset. Simply click on that and change the vertical video and it will be your default preset. All right, so that is it. Then you can click on start exporting and export your animation. And when you play it, this is how it is going to look. All right, so that is it for this video, guys. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.